Ahoy, landlubbers, it's me, your Valiant Captain Vasco, and welcome back to Knack, where in the last episode, we finally met up with one of our human friends. How does that, how do I keep not dodging those? I swear, I mean, you can see that I'm, like, moving, and I'm, like, going in a direction that should provide me some protection from those weird mace projectiles. Somehow I keep getting hit by it. I'm a little bit confused by that, and certainly a little bit annoyed. Anyway, we met up with one of our human friends, Ryder, who's the only one we haven't, like, gone around in a level with, and he told Knack about Gundahar the Super Goblin, now we've got a plan for how to get to the bottom of that mess, but first we gotta save our other human friends, Dr. Vargas and Lucas, who are still trapped in a prison cell talking about dead women. Yeah, they get some weird hobbies, those guys. Uh, speaking of dead women, it's not a very good transition because, what's her name, Katrina? She's still alive. She's still a problem. She's kind of a ninja. Even though we knocked her off a building, she was totally fine. Although I still maintain she probably should have been able to dodge that, considering how much trouble she's given basically everyone and everything in the past. There is so much sunstone in this place. I mean, I guess it makes a certain amount of sense, right? Because we're allegedly technically still... Seriously, I totally dodged that. I got no idea why that didn't work. And then that one worked, and I didn't do anything differently. I just do not... Oh, no. That, how did that one work? That one shouldn't have worked at all. To be clear, that should not have worked. Oh, ugh, that one always gets me. I'm always expecting the ranged one, and sometimes they do the not ranged one. Man, there's a lot of these breakable walls, too. They're not all secrets, but a lot of them are secrets. To be clear, I consider a secret to be one of those boxes with a cool machine part in them, even though basically every one of those breakable walls is technically a secret. I am doing terribly all of a sudden. That's weird. Whatever, I got, I got Ryder backing me up. He seems to be able to punch his way through a problem or two. That was surprisingly straightforward. Well, I thought you were here to rescue my nephew. Not get yourself captured. Yes, <laughs> I can multitask. Things didn't go exactly as planned. Uh, thank you for the rescue. What are you thanking him for? I did all the hard work. Knack! You survived! I nearly burned to death like four times. Not sure why we didn't see this coming. Doctor? Ugh, hang tight. I'll be right back. Sorry. These guys are not as scary as most of the robot. Oh, that was a pretty good move. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, the shield robots? Those guys are super annoying. Yeah, bring them on. Uh, I'm tempted to do, like, the the blast super attack. I forget what those are called. I myself forget. I think they called them super moves, but I thought in the tutorial they had, like, a special name for those. Ow. I got drill-handed. I got caught drill-handed. Actually, I got caught by drill-handed. No, I don't think that actually did damage to me. Did I win? My prize is more death. That's not a great prize. Uh -huh, I got you, Drillbot. One thing that will help if you guys are trying to play along at home that I've found is if, uh, if like, one guy, if there's, like, two guys coming at you and one of them makes an attack, try focusing your attacks on the other one because there's usually, like, something of a, a cooldown time or, like, a little bit of a, a delay between when they can make two attacks in a row. So that helps things out a little bit. Uh, if you focus on the guy who, uh, if you focus on the guy who's, who didn't just attack, he, he, the, he might attack you more quickly. I'm not very good at talk good. Oh, can he throw that? Oh, he, he looked like he was gonna do a Captain America, but he didn't do the Captain America. As we, by, by telegraphing that in a cutscene, that's much less intimidating than that usually is. Um... Yeah, I think they got the point by now. Knack bad. Robots good. That's so annoying. These guys are super the worst. I think of all the robots, they're my least favorite. Blowtorch guy? Like, I don't like shield guy. Drill hands is kind of a pain. But blowtorch guy, he is just the worst. How did I take damage from that? I clearly don't understand the physics of cyber futuristic maces. I'm really kind of tempted to just blast this guy. Ah, screw it. Boom. 
You blew up, pal. You messed up. Everyone is always uh, running away by airplane. Woman. I know. Hey, why don't you come to my place in Monteverde for a few days? I've got an idea I want to run by you. For a few days? Is it basically everything that's happened in this game so far taking place over like two days? It feels weird to spend a few days planning something all of a sudden. Mount Verde. Yeah, I know whatever language that is. Shut up. Lucas seems to have taken the kidnapping pretty well. Tough kid. Hey, get used to it. Did you ever find out what Victor was after, exactly? Oh, yes. The key to this door. Where did we get a picture Beyond of it? which lies the treasure of the ages. Giant relics of a size and power a hundred times what anyone has seen before. Now, whoever opens that door could do anything. Bring in a new golden age, rule the world. Rule but a new golden age? The door is locked, and the key is lost. Well, this door? Yes. <laughs> I've seen it. Or rather, I've seen a picture of it. Do you remember my solo expedition across the barren wastes? No. Well, in one of the temples I found, there was a mural. It covered the entire wall. And right in the middle of it was that same pattern. Well, what did the mural say? Pretty sure it said, really. this door is locked. We could go back and take a look at it. We'd have to make a bit of preparations, though, first. Unless you're feeling up to scaling a thousand-foot cliff. Hey guys, I found all the goblins. We were looking for the goblins, right? Seriously, it's, it's like all of the goblins. If we were looking for any of the goblins, I found them. They're right here. Like, look at all them goblins. I think I know how to find their base. How? We just need them to pick up something that'll broadcast their location. Come inside and help me. Knack, get us some room to work. Give them room to work? I mean, the goblins aren't anywhere nearby. Or maybe I stand corrected. Oh, it's Boomerang. Oh, oh look at that. Didn't actually get hit. Totally deserve to get what's up with this? This is oh, I need to get bigger. What's why are there two staircases? I'm not smart enough for this All right I'm bigger. I feel like I missed something. Well, it's too late for that problem All right, so uh, yeah at the time of this uh, posting it's uh, getting to be holiday times Wow, there's a lot of explosions This isn't breakable is it stupid rocks? I hate the rocks so, uh, I know that, uh, Hanukkah was, like, super crazy early this year and will, like, never be this early again in anyone's lifetime. Uh, so, like, for those of you who've already celebrated your primary wintertime holiday, tell me how it went. What was your favorite present? And, like, what was your favorite, like, family holiday experience type thing? And for those of you like me who are still looking forward to stuff, what are you looking forward to? What present are you most excited about maybe getting? from your Christmas or Kwanzaa list. Does, does, Kwanzaa, does Kwanzaa have lists? I know I'm like super culturally ignorant, but I know like virtually nothing about Kwanzaa. Which I think I've stated in the past, but maybe not in one of my own videos? Uh, for those of you who don't know, I also record stuff with a friend of mine, who goes by the name Tekazurik, over on a channel called the Renegade Constabulary. It's a little bit less family friendly than my own channel, but it's a good time, especially for uh, audiences with viewer discretion or however you're meant to phrase that. I'm just, I'm the worst. It's time to make my life less terrible by using some of my superpowers. Wow, you are a gun guy. You're pretty guns. Alright, so I want whatever this is. I'm assuming there's nothing interesting in any of these boxes, but if I can break them, 
I'm gonna break them. That's like... There's gotta be some law, like Murphy's Law, or like... Rule 34 or something. Uh, I knew there was gonna be something behind those boxes. You can't fool me, game. I'm like a pro at finding stupid crap in stair caves. Relic detector part versus secret detector part. Uh, well, if I get the thing I opened, then I finish my first machine. Uh, yes. Relic detector part, activate. I did it. Congratulations me, I got a red box. Okay, uh, now did it equip automatically because I know... Is it collection? Gadget. This. Equipped. Okay, so it does automatically equip. Well, now it will tell me when I'm near relics. That's... Not terribly exciting, but hey, I wanted to finish a thing and I did it. Goal accomplished. The game recognized my feat by giving me a trophy, so clearly I've done something correctly. I should probably stop punching these box. I seriously doubt anything else is gonna come from these boxes, but I do like breaking things. Whoa, look, the game totally told me when I was near- this is kind of- whatever. Oh. oh, it's our good friend, not our friend. Oh, he's got Buzza arms. Hey, over here. Oh, this is interesting. Is this a running away level? Games used to have those. Yeah, I think we're doing that. I'm not sure... I'm not sure... Oh. Haha, <laughs> try and defeat that impenetrable tiny fence, you monster. Oh, I walked right into that. I was busy looking at things that might be, uh... Secret doors, but probably aren't. Oh, did I get killed by that? Hmm. Did not think he was gonna, like, auto-kill me. I wonder if there's something hidden around here. Well, my relic detector part would tell me if there's relics, so there aren't any relics. Although, believe it or not, that relic box over there has a bunch of relics in it. I gotta... Ugh, I hate Boomerang Guy. Boomerang Guy is like the most annoying goblin. He really shouldn't be, but he is. There we go, look. I proved it, there were relics in that. So my machine totally works. Oh, well, I got a little bit lucky there. I don't think I should have been able to pull that off. Hello? Oh, they're all Boomerang Guys. Yeah, this is not a particularly useful gadget, but it still does something. And it gives me a sense of accomplishment, which is really the best present of all. Let's just consider Christmas accomplished as far as Vasco to Gamer is concerned. I love- oh my god, I love his giant robot like sidling like daintily across that chasm. That's adorable. Uh, I do love this game. I really don't understand why so many people have been, like, so, like, hostile towards this game. Like, it has problems, but, like, most games have problems. Sweet. Totally got through that in one go. I mean, like, a lot of people have been talking about how Bioshock Infinite is, like, you know, game of the year, like, the best game that came out this year. And it has a ton of problems, so I don't know how you can get off saying that, like, this game isn't worth playing just because it has a couple of problems. I mean, I personally enjoy this at least as much as Bioshock Infinite. And granted, I'm a little bit biased just because I don't love shooters as a genre. But, like, this game just has so much, like, fun and charm to it. And the story's a lot of fun. The story's a lot better than Bioshock Infinite. And you can bite me if you disagree. Because Bioshock Infinite really falls apart in the story department. And that was, like, the thing I was most excited about for that game, so... That's kind of why I'm not super keen on it. But enough about a game that many of you have probably either already played and have opinions of, or haven't played and won't anytime soon. Great job, Knack. Check this out. The trackers look just like relics, don't they? Hmm. Well, except so, for the giant, obvious glowing red done. lights. I hope so. Let's go spread some of these around town. Uh, Lucas, stay behind and make a few more. We might need them later. I'm a little bit confused. I totally thought that uh, what we were going for was I was gonna like infiltrate their collection of relics and then report on my position since I'm made of relics. I thought that's where we were going. 
But, you know, this works too, I guess. Except I genuinely think my plan is less conspicuous. Ooh, I got, I got pistol whipped pretty hard there. Ooh, did this guy not die even? Sucks to be me right now, huh? Ooh, yeah, it sure does, because I'm dead. A little bit. All right, all right, take two. You can't stand up to the might of my weirdly shaped robot hands? Oh. I don't know how I've managed to survive this long. Alley oop! Come on! Stay on target. This guy's the worst. Alright, took everyone out. I am the master champion of all champions. That's a thing, right? I have no idea if that's a thing. Not seeing any secrets around, but I've picked up several, and I'm reasonably satisfied, although that's not going to stop me from looking for more. Oh, hey there, Axeman. I miscalculated, but was not punished for it. That's what I like to see. Actually, I really like to see myself not miscalculating and also not being punished. That's probably the ideal situation. Ah! Aha! Alright, not doing too badly right now. Could certainly be doing a lot worse. I'm pretty sure I've demonstrated that on more than one occasion. Wow, that was a lot of damage. See, that's the problem I have with this game. My main problem, I think... Oh, that's a really classy looking vintage cable oh, car yes, thing. That's Gundahar's fleet. No need to have others pillage and plunder for you when you can do it yourself. Ryder, what do you see? Are they here to stay or just visiting? It looks like a smash and grab. They're gathering up relics and sunstones and heading back out. Doc and I'll spread around the trackers and hope they pick one up. Knack, do what you can to keep my town in one piece. Will do. Oh, is Ryder mayor of his own town? That's awesome, I'm super jealous. Although if I had a town, I would just ruin it. Let's all be honest. Oh man, he's got a purple barf gun. He's just as bad as the spiders. Except he's also a goblin with a laser cannon. A barf. Laser barf is even worse than regular purple barf, I think. I'm really not sure how to evaluate that properly. I'm trying really hard, that's what all the sounds are. In case that was not clear. Stop shooting barf everywhere. Don't butt in line. Alright guys, I think that's just gonna do it for today. I was gonna say just about, and then I flarbled all over all my words, but that's fine. I hope that you enjoyed this episode, and I hope that you'll join me next time when we have a lot of fun doing more Knack stuff now that we have a functioning machine device. And if you decide to join me for that, then I'll see you then. <laughs>